If it's not a BMW, it's a BTW. Big time waster. What's up machine freaks? I'm jamming out. And due to my jamming out, I finally finished this car. Okay you guys, I went inside, I got some Fruit Loops, I'm a little bit better. I'm a little bit more settled down. I'm not flying off the handle, so that's good. This bar is a pain. These guys are geniuses, like 100%, they are geniuses. Nothing on this car, it just works so perfectly that it's a big, huge pain in the Fruit Loops didn't do it for me, folks. I'm getting to that point really quickly on this car, mostly because of the fact that it's getting to be winter and it's cold and it's getting dark quickly. So I'm getting less and less patient. I wanna get stuff done, but I also wanna get the video done. Everybody's got their breaking point. This fall has made my breaking point a little easier to get to. My biggest struggle is the BMW engineers are too smart, way too smart, way too efficient. They have a God-blessed mind. Like that car is like a damn rocket ship compared to a Ford or a Chevy. You see, when you do the things that I do, I work on that car every day, I work on my dirt bike every day, everything's a lot more messy because I have to carry the camera around. I would only go through probably a tenth of the gloves that I go through. After I do something and then I wanna get a new shot, I have to take those gloves off, change the camera, change the position, put a new set of gloves on, and then I get dirtier on my clothes. And YouTube, Doing these vlogs every single day is a dirty job. But, but that's the price that you have to pay when you do these videos. But one thing that's absolutely certain that has to change is this garage. This space, this space is disgusting. There's not enough room in here for BMW activities. So you gotta fix that. Because winter is screwing us. We're running out of time, we're running out of warm weather. All these cons, and the garage, the shop, brings all these benefits. We gotta take advantage of those benefits. We have to take advantage of this garage. If God wanted me to work out in the snow, he wouldn't have invented a heater, or a garage, or YouTube. Got the differential in, got everything buttoned up. I just literally got done. Got all the axles tied up into it. Everything's tight, and now the tires are ready to go on. I have two things that didn't make it onto the car. One is the old C-clip, and one's a washer that wouldn't clear. The washer, of course, is my modification. And the C-clip is the old one. You guys ever get done and then realize that you have a part left over? That's no good, especially on a vehicle when it's moving down the road and it weighs a couple thousand pounds. That's no good. So you definitely wanna look around, make sure everything's on, make sure everything's tight. There's nothing wrong with a double check, and there's nothing certainly wrong with a triple check. I probably only went through about 10 pairs of gloves, Math says that's 20 gloves. It was a lot cleaner of a process leaving you guys out of it. I'm, I'm sorry, but it had to be done. I also wanted to jam out and I wanted to save a little bit of time. So now we're just gonna jack up the car, get the jack stands out, put the tires on, torque them all down, go do some burnout. That's right, we're gonna put this thing through a test. Let's just break it again. And then if we break it this time, we'll just say screw it because it's getting too cold. Or if I get this mess clean enough, we can bring the car in here. But uh, that's funny. I didn't mean to make you laugh. We're, we will clean this mess. I hope. Moment of truth, will it start up? Oh, no way. Yep, she's dead. She must have a wiring issue. From now on, I have to unplug the battery. Otherwise, I'm going to have to boost it every time. That's no good for a battery. I'm going to test this little jumper pack. Last time I tested it, the thing was dead. That was my fault. Oh my God, I did it again. I left it on. Son of a pup. I'll never get to use this thing. I keep on charging it and then and then leaving it on. I sound like a semi-redneck YouTube sensation. Here's a different system we can try. It's basically the same thing. I've had this battery charging up. We'll just hook that up. Let it sit for a second. We'll give her some snap. That means turn it over. It ain't doing it. 
that's no good. The future is not going to be good once I get this thing going. I'm calling it now. I guess we'll rob a little bit of power out of my sister's car. It's just so hard to get down in these things, then I hurt myself. Tall guys and cars don't really... Her battery's in the trunk, so I have to actually back up into the driveway so I can get as close as possible to my battery. That's good. No, it isn't. I'm on drugs. Way too far. Those mirrors are right. Things do look bigger than they seem. If this cobalt saves your life, I don't know what you're going to say. What do you think? Is the cobalt going to power the BMW? Show this BMW up. About time! I have to admit it, I missed that squeaky belt noise. Sounds like home. remember if there's anything else I have to take care of before I drive it. Just go for it. YOLO! I'm glad I saw that. So! Tomorrow! Well, I don't know. We're gonna do something. Whether it's the dirt bike, whether it's the BMW, whether it's whatever. We're gonna figure it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. We'll stay machine freaky. We'll get a little dirty. We'll get a little cold together. You know, maybe maybe you'll be a little bit more warm than I am. But, um, yeah, grab some popcorn next time, and, and I'll see you tomorrow. 3D Machines out.